My name is The Adipose and this is the Doctor Who Legacy. This is the first of a series of tutorials helping you become a better player at the game. In this first tutorial we're going to be looking at basic gem play. Well, greetings everyone and welcome to my first in a series of tutorials on Doctor Who Legacy. We're going to be looking at a whole bunch of different things over at least four tutorials, but I want to get the basics out of the way first to make sure we've covered everything we need to before we get on to the advanced stuff. Um, we're going to, this tutorial is going to be basic gem play, the next one's going to be basic character play, then we'll have advanced gem play, and then after that we'll have advanced character play, including all sorts of stuff about leveling up and you know character combinations and stuff. And then if there's anything I missed off of that, we'll put it in tutorial number five. But let's get started with the basics of how you're going to be um, taking down the Cybermen in Doctor Who Legacy. Well, the first thing you're going to need to do when you start playing Doctor Who Legacy is picking yourself a team. And when you start off, you will only have a few people to pick from. But you'll find you'll, you'll start unlocking characters very, very quickly. And um, once you have done so, you'll probably want uh, initially to have a team that's made up of at least one of every colour. Blue, yellow, red, black and green. You've got at least one extra spot on your team um, for, for another player as well, but make sure you've got, um, at, at least while you're kind of learning the game, one of each colour, because otherwise that means that you can get an attack out of every single colour of gem. At its core, Doctor Who Legacy is a match three gems game. The, the very basic attacks that you do will be done by essentially putting together three or more gems and watching characters of the same colour attack. For example, if on the right hand side of my screen at the moment you can see that I've got um, two gems, two black gems in a row. And by moving one more gem over to join them, we're going to make three in a row, which gives me, which means that K9, who is the only black, uh, um, the only black character, will attack. Now K9's ability attack level at the moment is 180, which meant that when we match three gems together, that's what we got. We got 180 um, attack. But here comes the next level of strategy, because if we can match together more than three gems together, we get bonus attack. So we saw there that K9 um, with three gems would do 180, because he's that, that's his basic attack rate. But now let's put four black gems together and see what we get instead. So I'm going to do it on the left-hand side of the screen, four black gems. And look at that, instead of the base damage being 180 for K9, we actually got 225 for using four gems. And on top of that, we actually got a combo as well, which increased the damage further. So where possible, try and get groups of four or five gems rather than three and you'll increase your damage. But even better than matching four gems is matching five gems. Matching four or more will give you bonus damage, but matching five gems will not only give you bonus damage, it will actually attack all enemies at the same time. So because if you look at the moment, um, if I was to just do a, a normal attack with just three gems or four gems, it would probably attack the one on the left, the single Dalek on the left, leaving the one on the right untouched. I mean, obviously, if I, if I managed to kill the one on the left in one shot, there would probably be some additional damage. But if I want to actually try and do damage both of these guys at the same time, I am going to need to put together five gems in a row. And this can be a huge time saver, a wonderful way of comboing your damage, and a fantastic um, advanced strategy um, for taking down those enemies. So all I'm going to do is, is um, um, with the blue gems in the middle, is I'm going to quickly put together um, a row of five. And this time you'll see that the, the, the shots from the dock from, from Spoonhead on the right will hit both of those Daleks. There were various other ones flying out there as well in terms of combos, but if you saw our Spoonhead, his shots came out and hit both of those Daleks. Let me show you that um, just one more time. I'm going to put together an attack um, on these guys um, using blue gems on the right hand side of the screen. I'm going to combo the blue, and Spoonhead and the Doctor will both attack, but both of them will only attack a, uh, will only attack a single target. But if this time I put together a row of five or more, you'll now see that both the Doctor and Spoonhead will attack both enemies, thereby increasing the damage that they're doing um, and allowing me to take down enemies far quicker. Now 
Now, when you move gems around, you'll be moving other gems into the place that you have recently vacated. So um, you see that red gem right at the top of the screen. If I move that red gem right, then the yellow gem will move left. And I could move that red gem all the way down to the bottom of the board where the other two red gems are, and that one doing so will create a red line. But because I moved that yellow left, I've also created a yellow line at the top of the screen as well. So there's just then that, and that would be what the game calls a combo attack. But here's the thing, sometimes they will happen by luck and by fluke, and that's fantastic, but sometimes you can actually kind of plan them as well with just a little bit of thought before you take your take your turn. You can um, get, a, get a lot more combos going. Um, in your game. In this particular instance we can probably at least put together a yellow combo at the top, a pink combo on the right and a red combo at the bottom. Let's see if we can give that a go. So I'm moving it the red to the right to create the yellow, then I'm moving it to the right again to create the pink all the way around the bottom and back up to create the red. At least three combos, in fact I've got four, five and six, but three of them were planned out, three of them were accidental and we're going to get a massive whopping attack as a result of the combo. And combos are even more powerful than you might initially think because you're not just getting the basic damage of doing the blue attack and the yellow attack, you actually get a bonus damage on top of that as well. So you get all the blue damage you might have done, all the yellow damage you might have done extra damage on top of that plus any four gem or five gem sequences you've got in there as well and that's how you get those wonderful sequences where you take down multiple enemies in a single turn Now let's take this combo idea to the next level because obviously you can combo damage. Um, if I was to make a combo of green and black at the same time, then both my green and black characters will attack. Blue, yellow and red, and then my blue, ye red, yellow and red characters will attack. But don't forget the pinks, because what do the pink gems do? they heal you. So whilst it, 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 at the moment I'm, I'm kind of lo losing health and wanting to attack at the same time, by using combos I can do both. I can attack and I can heal in the same turn if I plan out my go um, cleverly enough. So for example here I've got, some, I've got some pinks all together at the bottom and I've got some greens on the right hand side. I could probably do something a little bit more advanced um, if I wanted, but just on a very simple one I can just pull down that green there, create a pink combo, pull up to the right hand side to create a green combo and you can See, I'm attacking and I'm healing in the same turn, which means I don't have to waste just a single turn um, with healing. I can try and do both at the same time. Okay, now I've been doing some live streaming um, of uh, Doctor Who Legacy over on my Twitch channel, and one of the things that people have pointed out is that I do, or they call, quite impressive combos. Now, I wouldn't say they're impressive, but what what there is is that you can do a lot more with the gems than you actually think you can. Because remember, when you move a gem, other gems move into its place, and you can almost draw a line across the board in the wake of your gem. Let me give you an example. Um, I'm not going to try and create a row here, I'm just going to show you the movement of the gems. I'm going to pick up that red gem on the top left and I'm going to move it down. Now what happens when I move it down? Well, the green moves up. Then I'm going to move it right. What happens? Well, the black moves left. I'm going to move it right again. What do we get? The yellow gem moves left and so on. And watch, as I move the gem, all of the other gems that I'm going past will move into the place of the gem that I have been moving. Now, let's take this to the advanced. What that actually means is you can move a lot of other gems in the board. And actually, you can move other gems in the board more than once. Let me give you an example. Down the bottom of my screen, I've got three yellow gems, but they, more or less, they're nowhere near each other. I'm going to show you how you can make a, a, a line of four yellows almost out of nothing. I'm going to pick the yellow that's near the top of the screen, but not quite on the top row, and I'm going to move it down and around and show you how you can make a nice little combo. I'm going to move the yellow down, all the way down to move that yellow up. Then I'm going to move it right and bring the other yellow across. I'm going to go around again and create a row of four yellows. And you can even take this idea, you know, you can make rows of five, you can make rows of sixes using the same idea, you can put together double combos, uh, but you can really do some, bring combos out of uh, areas where you really wouldn't expect to be able to get some. Let me show you another example here. I'm going to use one of the blacks on the left-hand side, and in doing moving it around, I'm going to create a row of four reds. Then I'm going to double up around one of those yellow gems to create a row of three yellows at the top before moving down and creating a row of three blacks at the bottom. So watch this. Moving it across, there's our first combo. Move that yellow twice and then move the black one down. 
and off we go. We've got a massive combo there, and hopefully we'll be doing a huge amount of damage to that particular Cyberman. However, of course, you only have five seconds. Once you touch that first gem and start moving it about, you'll get a little... I'll show you here. If I grab it and start moving it, you'll see that eventually you get this little bar that starts counting down. Once that hits the bottom, that's the end of your turn. So you can't kind of move it around slowly, working out exactly where you want to put it. You've got to plan it in advance, move quickly, but you really can put together some quite spectacular combos that you wouldn't expect to be able to do. So ladies and gentlemen, that was my first tutorial on basic gem play. I hope you found it useful. Um, you'll need to know those basics before you start heading into the more advanced play, but make sure you know about matching three, matching four um, for extra damage, matching five for attacking all characters at the same time, comboing your gem attacks together, making sure you can heal an attack, and most importantly, really start looking for patterns in those gems where you can put together lines that you weren't, that, that aren't obvious. Look for the ways of creating four and five gems, massive combos, um, runs all at the same time. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I am going to be following up very very shortly with tutorials on character play, advanced gems play and advanced character play and of course don't forget to like the video as well if you have found it useful. A massive thank you um, to the makers of Doctor Who Legacy. It is a fantastic game and I'm looking forward to much more um, content from them in the future. Take care guys and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.